over the years as you have, as you have claimed your relationship with the gospel of Jesus Christ, it has gained for you enormous power, particularly in times of need. Our lesson this week, the power of the gospel. What is that power? What is the power that the gospel has to transform your life and to help you become who God intended you to be. The lesson begins with Paul talking to the church at Rome in a letter to Rome, which he never got a chance to go. He says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for two things. One, salvation. The other is to everyone who has faith. So it's the gospel to save you, save us, beyond the grave. And to everyone who has faith, you have to believe. And then he says to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So why is the gospel made available to the Jew first? Well, obviously, because of their belief uh, in, uh, in God, Jehovah, Yahweh early on and as expressed in the New Testament. The three major questions in the lesson, A, where do you see the power of God at work in your life today? B, do you see why Paul calls us victors over all powers in Romans 8? 38. And see, how can we enable our use of power and judgment to be in keeping with God's righteousness in Christ? The questions that we came up with for the lesson begins with question one. Is there a difference between insiders who claim the gospel and outsiders who are not Jews? Which are you and why? Question two. What is the broad theme of the book of Romans? Question three. Why are we condemned when we pass judgment on others? Question four. What is in store for everyone who does evil? If you do evil, what's in store for you? What is in store for those who do good? Question five. What is partiality? especially as revealed in the New Testament when it comes to God's relationship with us as human humans. Where does denominationalism come from if God shows no partiality? Question six. Where does the power of God reside? And how does it exist? Question seven. What does the word power mean in Paul's faith? Question eight. What is, going back to that question, what is the big bang of creation? The big bang of creation. How does this concept compare with the creation story? The Big Bang being the Big Bang Theory of how the world came into being. Question 10. How is power found in the agony of the cross? Question 11. How does believing in Jesus allow us to be sown, S-O-W-N, in weakness and raised in power? 
question 12. Why is the create crucifixion, that is, and resurrection a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles? Question 13. What is the meaning of the word, quote, gospel? Question 14. Why was it important to Paul to proclaim Jesus' salvation to the people in the Roman Empire? Question 15. Why was Paul's proclamations in opposition to the power exerted by those in power in Rome? What was the results of Paul's preaching? Question 16. How is the gospel not only the good news, but Jesus himself? Question 17. What are the three things that Paul was getting at in his preaching? Question 18. Why is the love of God through Jesus Christ so important to politics and to justice? Question 19. What are the results of power without love? Question 20. What must we do as Christians to maintain power found in the gospel? Those are our questions for this week's lesson. For answers in the lesson, go to ukavicpc.com, U-T-Q-I-A-G-V-I-K-P-C.com under events, our adult Sunday school lesson, and you can join that lesson every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m.